and welcome to Monday on 4P1H. This week's theme is just to do a vlog. Going to Fan Expo. This is what I did this weekend. I stayed at a beautiful hotel and I cosplayed Sebastian and I cosplayed Spock for a little bit. It was pretty cool. It's my wristband, which is actually neon green. It's hard to think back, it kind of just becomes this blur of awesomeness. Uh, first day I cosplayed Sebastian with my friend who was cosplaying Shell. And we toured the dealer's rooms and we went around and looked at famous people. I saw the person who played Uhura in the original Star Trek. Um, I also got Veronica Taylor's autograph. For those of you who don't know, she played Ash Ketchum, like the original Ash Ketchum when I was a kid and watched Pokemon. I like this new season, new generation stuff. Ash is always 10, that's always funny. I think it would have been really cool if I'd been able to get Pikachu to get signed, but at the same time, I don't think Pikachu would like being written on. She wrote, Taylor. Follow your dreams. Veronica Ash Taylor. My friend actually asked her to sign as Ash, and she wrote some cool stuff in her book, so that was really cool. So I probably need more footage than this. I'm going to tell you about how stupid I am. So over the course of this weekend, I have lost so much important stuff. First, on the way there, I somehow misplaced my iPod Touch, my beautiful third generation iPod Touch <laughs> in this beautiful little case with its little arms. Phineas, yeah. I, I have no idea how it happened. I must have accidentally taken him out and just left him somewhere. And it happened before I even got to the fan expo, which is surprising because that's usually where I'd lose something. But yeah, I'm worried about it because like my email and Facebook are all signed in on him. I changed my Facebook password, but I don't know if that changes anything. It's it's a little scary because your email and stuff, it, it connects you to every single account you have on the internet. So I'm a little bit concerned sitting in the hotel uh, in the mezzanine. I don't know if that's how you say that. And just texting at a table. And I took my wallet out to get my cell phone out and just left it. I just left my wallet with all my money and my debit card and everything in it just on a table or on the chair I'm not even sure because I didn't get it and then <laughs> I went downstairs I was sitting there and then these two guys came up to me they're like oh I recognize your costume and did one of you guys leave a wallet and I was like eh. and I looked over at my friend she has her wallet in her hand and I'm like that would probably be me then and <laughs> And he said it was a really thick wallet. My wallet's huge and ugly and bulky. So it took me back to this very scary back room of the hotel. And this guy whips out my driver's license like, What's your name? What's your birthday? So I told him all that and he gave me my wallet back and everything was still there. So I was very lucky on that one. I wish I had been that lucky with my iPod. I'm not generally a careless person, but if I get tired enough, I just blank out on stuff and I don't know what happened with my iPod. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me complain uh, about losing things. <laughs> I will see you guys next week.